Copy creates a duplicate of an existing element without affecting the original element. It is one of the most popular tools used in MicroStation. So let's jump back into MicroStation where we are going to utilize the copy element tool to determine and illustrate ADA compliance in the restrooms as well as laying out restroom fixtures and restaurant furniture. Continuing in the proposed restaurant DGN file, We'll zoom into the area where the restrooms are located. In particular, the men's restroom. In an earlier task, we placed circles that would represent a wheelchair turnaround. The circles were placed in an open area, but compliance still needs to be verified and demonstrated inside the design. We will utilize the existing circles by making a copy and placing it inside the accessible stall. So, along the ribbon, from the Home tab of the Manipulate Ribbon Group, we'll select the Copy tool. So let's begin our first task here. Our task here is to copy the circle that represents a wheelchair turnaround. With the Copy tool active, we'll snap to the far right quadrant of the circle inside the men's restroom. We'll issue a data point here for the base point. The data point entered on the element to copy is the base point on the element to which the pointer is attached. Careful selection of this point combined with the tentative snap will facilitate precise element location. Furthermore, use AccuDraw in conjunction with the copy tool for precise element relocation. So, we'll then move the cursor to the left. We'll press the Enter key to invoke the AccuDraw shortcut, Smart Lock. We'll then snap to the inside of the partition wall and then issue a data point. The copy tool places a copy of a selected element at a specified location and leaves the original element intact. The copy is identical to the original and as many copies of the original as needed may be made. Each copy is independent of the original and can be manipulated and modified like any other element. As you can see, a copy is placed and the tool remains active and ready for additional copies. So, We'll now bring the cursor into the accessible stall inside of the women's restroom and here we'll observe the result without placing a copy. As you can see, due to the layout there is less space. A final reset releases the element. Now, to confirm if the design is compliant, a circle will be placed to represent the wheelchair turnaround utilizing a different method. For now, we'll return back to the men's restroom. Our next task here is to copy the restroom fixtures. In the tool settings window, we'll set the copies to three. Then coming back into the view in the men's restroom, we're going to snap to any point on the urinal and issue a data point for the base point. We'll move the cursor to the right and while indexing to the X axis of the AccuDraw compass, we'll key in 762. Then we'll issue a data point creating the copies. Observe the results. Three copies were placed at equal spacing, 762 millimeters apart. An array, if you would. So now we're going to navigate the view back to the women's restroom. Next, we'll make the place circle tool active and then set the following options in the tool settings window. For the method, we'll select edge. For area, solid. The fill type, none and then diameter enabled and set to 1524. The place circle by edge method is used to draw a circle by defining three points on the circle. When selecting diameter or radius from the options menu located in the tool settings window, MicroStation prompts for two data points instead of three to place a circle by edge. Coming up into attributes, we'll set the following. For the level, a anno text, and then line style, three. You can quickly match properties at any point, regardless of the active tool, by hovering over the existing element and pressing the Alt key plus the data button. Now, to place the circle by edges, we will use 
the tangent snap mode twice. The first will be on the arc of the sink, and the second will be on the arc of the toilet. So here, our task is to place a circle representing a wheelchair turnaround. To begin, we'll make the tangent snap mode active. Take note, there are a variety of ways to select snap modes. A popular way is via the snap mode toolbar. Another way is by holding down the shift key and simultaneously pressing the left and right mouse buttons. This will bring up the snaps pop-up menu. With the tangent snap mode active, we'll snap to the arc in the lower left of the sink. Here, we'll issue a data point to define the first point of the circle. Next, we'll make the tangent snap mode active again. We'll snap to the lower right arc of the toilet and then issue a data point to define the second point of the circle. As a result, the circle representing the wheelchair turnaround is placed. So from here, our next task is to copy the seating in the lounge area. For this, we'll navigate the view back to where the lounge seating that you placed near column D7. We'll then make the copy tool active. Take note, the value for copies will always reset to one after the tool has been used with the multiple copies option. So now we're going to snap to the back right corner of the chair in the upper right of the configuration. We'll issue a data point to establish the base point. Next, we'll snap to the back left corner of the chair in the upper left and press the O key to set the AccuDraw origin at this point. We'll move the cursor to the left and while indexing to the X axis, we'll then key in 457. We'll issue a data point to place the copy and then when finished, we'll reset this. During this lesson, you learned how to copy elements and place a circle by edges while applying precision placement via AccuDraw and AccuSnap. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.